Most comedians don't get booed enough. I mean, this is how you end up with a Michael Blackson who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, move, don't. Uh, this guy is mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis. Dashikis. And I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you're going to say that, you got to go to Africa and get a school, dude. Everybody got you. You got to put in some work. And these guys, they take my advice. They change their whole persona. And. And then they hate me for it. And generally, I'm just too big to comment or make a statement about it or do a live or any of that. But when it gets to be a whole grouping of these guys, I got to come and talk to Shannon. <laughs> I got to lay it down at the altar. You know every comedian. This, that's been this is the other side of Kirk Franklin prank. <laughs> <laughs> This is the reckoning. 2024. The reckoning. You, you watch that. You know every comedian that's been on my show. You know you watched every episode. Cause no, you know, that's not what you said. You said I know every comedian. You know every comedian. You're sure. limiting me. Oh, you watched every episode. Because you 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 know things. You know things. I that <laughs> That's always where I'm trying to come from, whether it's comedic or otherwise. That's why even if you see me get arrested 10 times in a row on TV, as a fan of mine, you can be like, he finna be right out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they just said, he didn't do it. He couldn't have. It's stupid. Why would he do something stupid knowing he got to come back and talk to us? Nah, they re they respect that every time it happens, I'm going to be free as a bird sitting out here talking to you about it, that it really was what I said it was. That's all.